hi everybody so in this video i'm going to show you how you can spawn in basically any of the buildings or structures um, that are available in uh, in daisy um, complete with loot if it you know if it would normally come with loot in a custom location of your choice and this works for um xbox and uh, and playstation and pc so this kind of thing so this is balotta airfield in Chernarus, and i've spawned in this um, helicopter crash and then around the helicopter crash is loot and maybe more impressively depending on how you think about things this is balotta airfield still and here is a clinic complete with quite a lot of loot actually as well because i'm going to show you how to increase the loot um, here we have a simple military tent in the middle of the uh, the grass airfield at Balotta. And again, as you can see, we have loot. And then we have one of these watchtower things, again, complete with loot. And then another another helicopter crash, this time the Russian one, surrounded by zombies with, um, with more loot on it. So first up, though, credit where credit is due. Um, the thing that's kind of invigorated me to return to custom item location loot spawning and building spawning is balshad who has created this amazing discord um, and the first thing you should do is go down to uh, below this video in the description on youtube and click through and join his discord uh, you may know balshad from don sibley's discord but basically what he's done is taken all his his uh experience on xml coding for console and remember this stuff works on pc as well and put it in one place and he's created all these very simple faqs and tutorials um, and it's really really good and then the next thing you should do is you should go over to his paypal and you should drop him a couple of bucks for bringing together such an amazing resource for everybody out there who's into uh, modding on on uh, daisy especially modding on console it's very very good indeed now what i have done to make this um, a little bit easier as well is i have created a uh, a couple of example files that you can download and you can play with yourself to kind of see how it works and this is over at my github and again i'll put a link in the description down below um, and also i'll put a link in the description to um, the daisy wiki where there's a list of buildings um, but also a couple of class dump um, uh, GitHub repositories that give you the names of stuff. For example, if you go to Daisy SA class name dump, you'll see, uh, here we go, um, where we got structure related class names. Now this is quite old, this, so it won't have all of them, but it gives you an idea of the, the names of things. Land balm, land farm, water tower. And what you can normally do is using this and this other one, you can then figure out what the names of the particular buildings are so you can expect what what is spawning in right okay so first things first what you want to do is you want to go over to um, balshad's discord and you want to go down and you want to have a look at the making events channel so when we want to spawn in something custom in in daisy um be that be a building or um a gun on the ground or a backpack or something like that on console what we've got to do is we've got to create an event for it and events are the way that the, the game spawns items in dynamic events as we're spawning in so you as you're walking around the map and some zombies appear they've spawned in that they're, they're controlled by an event um, when you see a deer or when you hear a deer that has been spawned in by event when you see a helicopter crash again that's an event and um, when you see a um something like uh, one of those police cars as well when that spawns in that's an event so the way it works is when you create an event the event has something called a child and then we can make that child be whatever we like you know um and it will it will spawn in if we do it the right way so read through the making events uh, channel and uh, balshad explains the fact that you know your event has to have the right name if it doesn't start with the right name, like vehicle, static, loot, item, infected, or animal, your event probably w won't work. And what we have to do is we have to create a location for the event by getting the coordinates from the I survive map, and then we have to create the event itself, or, or do it the other way around. Perhaps the easiest way to do it is, is if you download the files from my GitHub uh, repository, we can kind of go through it together. So click on the description down below the video to go to my Daisy Example Building Spawned Loot XML snipple, Snippets repository. And with the green little button, if you click on there, 
and click on download zip and once you've downloaded the files unzip them and then open them in your um, favorite uh, text editor um, and you'll come across uh, these things so there should be an event snippet and there should be a CFG event spawns snippet.xml. And the, the kind of the overall outline of the events is, is 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 similar for all of them. And so the ones the the, the things that these events will spawn in at Balotta Airfield on Chernus is a military tent, a military fortified nest wash tower, uh, two helicopter crashes, and a, uh, a a land village healthcare, which is which is the clinic. So let's have a look at the event first and uh, look at the code. And again, open this up. On your text editor so you can go through it together so static temp one the nominal is one because we only want one of these if we had multiple spawn points we could put these in different parts of the map and change them into the max the lifetime is really long because we want it to hang around um, position fixed limit mixed active one which means it is, it is going to be there if we set that to zero it would disappear now the difference with my previous video about spawning stuff in is if you want a, a building or a structure to spawn in with loot and it normally has loot anyway it's the loot max this is this is the bit we're interested in child loot max and child loot min if these are set to zero the the structure or the thing or the building will spawn in with no loot around it or in it but if we change these figures to to, to something like you know 15 or, or whatever it should be we will then get get loot now how do you know what those those values should be well what you need to do is you need to go into your xml files um, and uh, open up map group proto dot xml um, so download it from from your your server if you want to and then all you do is you look for the item that has been spawned in so for example land military temp big one so we can copy that we go to map group proto hit control f and we can paste that in and we can find it there we go so land military temp big one this is the map group proto part of it so it should have a loot max of five all right and within this military tent you should there the category tools containers clothes food weapons books explosive quite a lot of stuff actually um and there should be five the, the, there's a maximum of five things that could spawn in however if we look here there's considerably more spawn points for items than five I, th I think there's about 17 or something like that so what we can do is is with loot max you know we should really put if you wanted a vanilla experience you would put loot min equals five loot max equals five loot min equals I don't know, one um, and so there would be maybe one thing would spawn but a maximum of five things but what you could do we could whack this up now what I found is this doesn't mean that you will get 15 items inside inside the tent. Um, it doesn't work like that. Because I think certain things fit and th certain things don't, don't. And also you might be coming up against nominal restrictions. But anyway, if you increase the number, you'll get more loot inside stuff. I've noticed this especially within things like, if we scroll down, the clinic. So the static clinic, which is Land Village Healthcare, if we copy that and go into map group proto and do a control f find that so it's got a loot max of uh, 15 um one, two, three, four, five. 15 um there we go so with loot max 15 loot min 15 in the event basically every room in that clinic will have quite a lot of stuff in it so this is another way you can make high high loot uh, places so all these things will spawn in with stuff now another interesting thing is that when we create an event like this like static watchtower or static heli um, on a particular place um, it is actually a dynamic event and as you well know Helicopters, um, certain certain military items are dynamic event loot only. So things like the FAL or the LA or the VSS or the ASVAL or the SVAL, the new one, they only spawn in at helicopter crashes. But what you'll find is you'll get those dynamic event loot stuff 
spawning in at these these tents and these watchtowers because they are in fact a dynamic event that is happening because normally the game doesn't spawn in buildings like this but because we're doing it like that and we're spawning in this tent and this watchtower dynamically it's going to get dynamic event items so that's the event snippet that fires the events but we need to make sure that we have the cfg event spawn so this is this is the bit that actually says look do these things in this particular place and as i said the, these will all occur at Bellotta airfield so you can see static temp one we've got an x coordinate and we've got a z coordinate we don't have to worry about why the game puts um, the game engine puts the thing on the ground where it should be and a is the angle so you can play around with the angle keep those six digits behind it the six zeros you know ch or change them to something else to change the angle um, depending on how you want things to line up so we've got static tent static watchtower one static heli one static heli two and static static clinic and then what you want to do if you want to play around with them um, you want to fire up your um, go to your nitrado game server or whatever server it is um, and you may well access it via FTP. I'm just going to go into the dashboard, go into the file browser, um, uh, go into your missions file. Now, if you're on PC, you've got to dig down quite a bit to get to the missions folder. Um, it might be Chernerus or it could well be um, Enoch if it's Livonia. And then if you scroll down, you're looking for the CFG event spawn file. So you download that one and then you go into the DB folder and you want to download the events um, file again open them up in your favorite text editor and you just take the event snippet so all of this lot and you would you copy that I'm not going to but you copy it and then just paste it into the top of your events XML and then do the same with the CFG uh, CFG event spawn snippet so copy all of that I mean, I won't do it, but and then copy it into the top of your CFG event spawns.xml. You'd want to save the files, um, upload the files, or the events over top of the events ones, and then go back and upload there we go, the CFG event spawns over the top of the existing CFG event spawns, and then restart your server. And then all this wonderful stuff will start to spawn in. And you can start to see the the possibilities really of spawning stuff in now i do have a little bit of a theory i'm not quite sure about this yet but i th you have to, i think you have to remember that all of these events as we're adding them in are putting a little bit more load on our server as well so you do have to be aware that if you added lots and lots and lots and lots of things say you were building a massive base you know using the walls from the castle for example or something like that you would start to put a lot of strain on the server especially xbox and playstation servers but hopefully this has also whetted your appetite for um custom uh item locations custom building locations when you see you know how really easy it is although i will say that i'm very lucky in the fact that i'm running this on uh, I've, I've got daisy running on my shadow cloud gaming pc which means i have a local server running so i've got a version of daisy a server running on 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 this computer which means that i can fire it up and i can test things to see where they are obviously when it comes to testing on xbox and playstation you've got to upload these files to your server you've got to restart you've got to physically get yourself to the location to see if they've spawned in um and then if you've made a spelling mistake or something like that you know you've got to kind of kind of start again but that's how easy it is to create custom event spawns to to spawn in buildings or structures that have a loot in them very very simple indeed so thank you once again to uh to balshad again make sure you click on that description click on the link in the description down below go and join his server um as i said it's incredibly useful go over drop him a couple of bucks on his paypal because he definitely deserves it um and uh, yeah i'll be bringing out more custom item location spawn videos uh, pretty soon if you've got any questions though about specific stuff remember drop them in the um, questions below the video and i'll add them to my list thanks again and i'll see you again soon